Hi there, Sandy the here, the guy who lives on top of the hill and gardens on top of the hill. Well, I'm in my small net uh, area, which is unfinished or incomplete, also built because of the monkeys. And then monkey attack a uh, few days back here on these sweet potato uh, beans. And they pulled out the newly planted uh, sweet potato plants. Uh, almost died, but they're recovering. Anyway, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is that we're getting that bucket there uh, of uh, sweet potatoes. And we're going to go look inside and see what's in there. The last ones that we opened gave us a few chunks of sweet potatoes. So I don't know how this one will um, fare. In Dad. terms of, yes, Papa, yes. Yes, my last born follows me that? everywhere I go. I hope he doesn't shake the camera. <laughs> okay, so let's get that done and get moving. Hey, baby. I'm good, I'm good. I'm good, Papa. Papa, Papa, Jenny. I'm good, I'm good. 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 Okay, this bugger is a little bit heavy. When I miss my eldest son, because he normally helps me with carrying these guys into the wheelbarrow and out of here. But I think I will make it. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's get going. Um. Yeah. Now when I came. I have to pull the plants because the plants they go onto the floor and uh, start growing there so I break them off. See, this one is on the fence. Break it off. Okay. Right, yeah. After we look on this bucket, I'll also show you how I keep my sweet potato plants um, for the next plant. You know. Yeah, right. Let's go. We are now going to check in these buckets what we're going to find. We are now going to check. Okay. Here we go. Ah. Let's see. Have here. Oh, look at this bucket, it's even uh, skew now. That's the position it was sitting on, it wasn't a straight position. All right, okay. So, what I normally do first is um, pull out the plants. And uh, I just pull out the plants. Uh, these ones are quite strong. Uh, I hope that's a good sign that there's good uh, food underneath here. Okay, look at this one. Decided to come out with big, 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 big guy. Right. Let's put this here. Yeah, so this is what I normally do. I pull out the plants. You know. Pull out the plants. Oh, here is another one. Here's another one. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Alright, so. Why? After I pull these guys off. 
I put them on the side because I'm still going to use them. Um, you know, and then I will start going in like this. You know, if I can bring my camera here to show you, start going like this. Love you to see this. You know, yeah. So you can see here yeah, I start um, going in by hand to expose these guys here yeah. okay right and then I go oh I think that's a snake yes it's a slug ah ha ha a whole lot of them underneath here oh. That's another thing with my garden. I tend not to kill these guys. I tend to just pick them up, throw them outside the fence or throw them as far as I can. Uh, because I believe they have a role that they play, you know, uh, in nature, natural. Yeah, anyway. So this is what we have. This is what we're dealing with. I don't know if it's clear from there. Let me tilt this camera a little bit uh, and maybe bring it a little bit closer so that it's clear. You know, so I don't know how how clear it is, but uh, if uh, it is, you'd see there's a lot of leaves here and there's even small stones and stuff like that. This is because this whole dirt that I planted these sweet potatoes on uh, came from the leaves that I rake around the yard. So sometimes when I rake the leaves, they, I also pick up these small stones. And then I normally would uh, compost them, mixing them with um, scrap food from the kitchen and all that. And then after a few weeks or a few days or a couple of days, just chuck them in here and then I plant on it and it tends to give me a good result as you all can see right now we're getting uh, oh pip okay that's fine we're getting the produce now you know so yeah um, I, I recycle these guys I don't know look at this you'll see it's quite leafy because um, yeah it came from leaves uh, I raked leaves um, around the yard and those leaves that I raked around the yard uh, became the soil um, you know that I used to plant this beautiful food I and my family are going to enjoy even these chunks of plants I intend to throw them in here and allow them to rot you know um, they as you can see there's a piece of wood here they bring in whatever they bring in in terms of nature's laws um, I don't know. I don't tend to worry much about that. I just, you know, yeah, we'll throw them in and allow the whole process to go on. You know, as you can see, huh, interesting. It was also, it got mixed because, because this, this is the white sweet potato. It's, it's pink outside, but it's white inside. And this is the yellow one. It's it's yellow outside, and it's or it looks brownish outside, but it's it's yellowish inside or pinkish inside. So I guess they got mixed because I have two kinds of them. I tend to plant them separately. Look at this one. <laughs> Look at this one. Look at this chunk. Can you believe this? Can you believe this, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and you believe this and all this from the soil that i created myself i did not pay a cent for this soil you know it's just dirt that came from my yard around the yard and you know raked it raked it uh, mixed it up with uh, food scraps coffee crowns you know yeah and look at it look at it i'm i'm impressed i'm impressed i'm loving this um i'm not i'm not complaining at all you know i have no complaints at all in terms of the food i am receiving you know this is uh yeah this will keep us going me and my family at least we're not gonna be we, we are not going to be buying sweet potato um anytime soon um and i will be emptying the i have potatoes as well in uh in bucket containers so i will be emptying those uh soon as well and see what i'll get out of them um you know so yeah this is this is lovely i'm i'm loving this uh, what was that i saw something here look like um a caterpillar okay it's probably buried on the sand now i uh, would have loved to pick it up and throw it away okay right um looks like uh that's about it but uh let's see I will take and break this down as much as I can, you know, to see if really that's it, you know. I tend to remove these roots, you know, I, I, I remove the old roots, yeah. Because I don't know why actually, but I tend to remove them and I want to have the soil as it is. Right. Right. Any any more? No. Doesn't look like a tiny one. Okay. Right. Um okay. All right. Okay. Cool. Um. Uh, yeah. This is um. You know. This is. This is what. Um. We got. This is what we got on this harvest. One big chunky one. And a few. Average ones. I'd say, yeah, uh, wish I had a scale. I must buy a scale so that I can actually like uh, weigh it and see how many kgs there is. But I am sure that um, for this, I would have paid a, a good price at the at the supermarket. Um, you know. So now I'm not going to be paying any price at the supermarket because I've done this for myself and my family. But not just that, you know, but uh, we are also guaranteed to have um, uh, food that I know has no chemicals because I grow it myself. You know, it doesn't contain any chemical or whatsoever. It is clean. Okay. Right now, I will uh, sort of like uh, show you how I um, how I do this, how I plant this. Okay, um, let's turn this guy around. Okay. Uh, Okay, a bit still now. Okay. 
this is another pile of soil that uh, I, I, I made myself and we will be introducing another big fella into this uh, tattoo. Now I'm going to go and get my sweet potato plant magic. <laughs> 